Hey everybody, Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon coming at you with another pro revenge story. Cheat on me, you'll get deported, arrested, and never see your child again. Let's jump right in. I've read a lot of these and listened to some amazing narrators on YouTube, so I decided to post the story of my ex boyfriend. Throwaway account for obvious reasons. Apologies for the long story, I edited it out as much as I could so the story isn't too long. Also, apologies if this is the wrong subreddit, I'm a little new to all of this. My ex-boyfriend and I are both native-born citizens of the same country in North America. We got together when I was still in post-secondary working toward my degree, and he was taking some time before he started post-secondary to work and save up money. Our relationship was basically perfect from my perspective, we had similar goals and expectations, we both seemed mature and able to work through any problems we had, and we both were happy to be together and enjoyed each other's personalities. We were together for three years prior to this incident. Our relationship hit a bit of a rough patch though when he told me he wanted to study for his degree at a university in Europe. I, of course, was a little bit upset because it meant that we would be apart for four years. My job, medical, would require me to retake schooling if I was to go with him. But he was super excited about it and we determined that we loved each other and no amount of distance could change that. With time, I graduated and got my dream job. And I could now afford to rent our shared apartment with just my income so I didn't have to move when he was no longer there to pay his half. He was having some problems with his student visa for the country, but it was determined that he could get a temporary visa for the first semester while he waited for the other one to be approved. So with that, he left. I remember bawling my eyes out at the airport when I hugged and kissed him goodbye and parked outside of the airport to watch his plane take off. We talked on the phone almost every night. As unlucky as it was, about five weeks after he left, I found out I was pregnant. Horrible timing, I know. When I told him I was pregnant, he immediately accused me of cheating on him when he was gone. I thought it was a bit odd since he had never even mentioned such a thing and seemed really out of the blue. That obviously led to a big fight and I felt offended and disgusted that he would even consider it a possibility. When he came home for Christmas, he was super happy and loved of with me, saying he was excited. He even proposed to me on the car ride home from his parents' house on Christmas Eve. I was so happy and overjoyed that it felt like everything would work out okay. When he went back to school, it was again stressful to go through the pregnancy without him, but both his parents and mine were incredibly supportive. They helped me get everything I needed for the baby and even threw me a surprise baby shower. When I gave birth, my ex watched it over Skype from his mom's. When he finished his exams, he came home to be with us. He immediately started talking negatively about our daughter, saying things like, why is her hair that color? My hair is brown. And doesn't she have your friend's eyes? And he again accused me of cheating so I reluctantly agreed to perform a paternity test to calm his suspicions. Wow, could you believe it? She was his. He agreed to pay informal child support, sending me money to pay for the baby without a lawful order to do so while he was overseas. Now for the fun part. His student visa had still not been approved, so he had to reapply for another temporary semester visa for the next semester. Since he did not have a permanent residence in the country, as he was staying in student accommodations, and he didn't trust the university to not go through official looking mail, he redirected all of his mail to me, which I would forward to the university in his care packages. When he came to visit us, he had applied for a new passport as his was going to expire in six months. I was tasked with picking it up at the office and sending it forward. However, around midterm exam season, I decided our daughter and I would travel to deliver the care package in person and visit. 
I had to get her an infant passport and book the tickets, but a couple months later, we were getting on a plane. Side note, traveling with a baby sucks, and I'm sorry to everyone else on the plane. When we got to the country, I settled into our hotel, but was too eager to see him. I taxied to his university, only about 45 minutes from the airport, and went to his dorm room on campus. I knocked on the door, holding our daughter. A woman answered the door. At first, I assumed it was his roommate or something, but I don't remember him mentioning he had one. Denial is a powerful thing, I guess. I asked her where he was, and she said he was inside and called out to him. I heard a, who is it babe, as he came to the door, and when he saw me, he froze. He went pale, and his eyes widened. The woman asked him, honey, who is this? And I just turned and walked away. He called out after me and eventually caught up with me. He basically told me that he's been so lonely without me and he couldn't help it and that he loved me and not her, to which she started yelling at him, calling him a pig and stuff. My baby started crying because I was crying and so I just left without saying anything. I stayed in the hotel for another day while he continuously called me on my cell phone. I booked last minute tickets home and left early and ignored every time he called me. I gave myself a week to grieve and then I put my big girl pants on. I immediately hired a lawyer and asked him what I could do to legally separate my life from him. In my country, we were considered common law married. My lawyer advised me to begin the legal separation process and apply for a hearing about custody and child support. I sent him a thick manila envelope with separation papers and a notice for a hearing about custody in his next package. We talked on the phone, on speaker, with my lawyer, and he eventually agreed to sign. He sent me a copy, the hearing was scheduled while school was in session, so no surprise, he didn't show up. I won full custody, and he was given an order to pay child support appropriate for his income. He was paying for his college with a grant mostly, so he had to pay based on the grant. Now this is some revenge, but it went a little further. Remember, when I went to see him, I was bringing a care package? That package contained his new passport. His passport expired, and he was still in Europe, so he couldn't travel back to our home country legally. He yelled at me on the phone to send him the passport, but I got an idea. He hadn't been paying the child support, probably because he couldn't afford it with tuition and wasn't working. So, he had a warrant for his arrest in my home country because of it. Contempt of court, or something and he had never been approved for a student visa, only the temporary one. And since his final exam concluded, and it was summer, he technically wasn't supposed to be in Europe. But he couldn't travel home because he didn't have a passport. It would be a shame if someone anonymously reported him to the embassy for overstaying his visa now, wouldn't it? He got deported back to our home country, where he was arrested at the border. I don't know exactly what happened, but he spent a couple months on probation and with a criminal record, can no longer apply for a visa of any kind to study abroad. Sorry about that future of yours, but I guess you shouldn't cheat on someone who loves you to the ends of the earth, the mother of your child. Have a nice life, because we sure will. Oh. And don't forget to put that check in the mail. It's paying for a little girl's future education. That was a great story with some great writing and really forced the mind to think about the situation. So everyone, do you think OP was justified creating difficulties for her ex in his future? Does something like cheating on a spouse warrant a criminal record and limitations on travel for the rest of their lives? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. This is Rob from Karma Comic Chameleon saying thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.